Hey guys, uh, so I'm here at Dr. Sanjeev's office. We're in our um, podcast studio. And, uh, you know, Sanjeev approached me not that long ago. And uh, this is like, he w- tell, tell everybody what you're talking about. <laughs> so he wants to do, he wants to um, share his journey about educating people who are, uh, ex- may experience Alzheimer's, might have Alzheimer's, have maybe family members um, experiencing it um, because it's something that has impacted your family uh, in that, um, you know, you've got aunts and uncles that are dealing with it right now. Yeah, yeah. I right? Think, uh, yeah, I feel like, um, you know, it's a, it's a personal journey and I kind of want to document it as it's because it's become my life mission to kind of help solve this problem, it's, which I believe is going to affect many, many people in this world. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's not, un- you know, it's funny because Alzheimer's, uh, when you have the disease, it does impact. Does it impact lifespan? Is that yeah, part people, of the people main die, reason? People die from Alzheimer's. It's gonna. Um, we should just talk about it. I mean, Alzheimer's yeah. is basically Alzheimer's dementia, is basically a disease of where people start to gradually lose their their brain function, their cognitive function, mm-hmm. and um, you know it could, it could be the cause of why somebody passed away because eventually they're unable to do simple functions, of th- uh, you know, think, speak move around um, now now if, if the brain controls like our um, functions that we tell it to mm-hmm. there's also functions that we don't tell it to right so does it is that also why someone might like the brain automatic like the involuntary I was at a loss yes. for words like like the brain tells us to, to breathe right like does it also to your knowledge like not tell someone to breathe or, or like well, I think I tell think the organs to the, not operate? That's probably the last thing that happens. Right. Okay. I think it's more the conscious stuff. I mean, the conscious stuff that goes first. Okay. But, I mean, the whole brain degenerates. Right. It's a, de- a degenerative brain illness where the neurons actually um, die off. Cool. To, uh, well, now that, that that is not cool, but it's cool that you have that information. I'm like, yeah. cool, your brains are going to die. I'm, no, but that being said, I think uh, you also became more interested in potentially doing this because you discovered something about yourself, which we'll go into, yeah. but you have access as a medical doctor, a medical professional to certain tests um, that will tell you about your body. And ever since I've known Sanjeev, like he's always talking about this Cool. This will test your, you know, there's the optometrist. Let's test your eyesight. But this is going to test your, 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 the quality of your blood. This is going to test, you know, um, your uh, genetic makeup that will impact this or that. Like, you're always coming up with these tests. So you did take a test out of curiosity or you took a test because it was running in your family? What motivated you to take this, this test that kind of measures um, whether you are someone that might have... Um, Challenge risk. With, yeah, yeah, risk, risk. 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 Everything's about risk here. Um, we can't, there's no way to actually make a diagnosis of Alzheimer's right now, apart from talking to the person. Like right. It's a clinical examination, and and actually uh, an actual diagnosis made on death when they do the biopsy of the brain. Oh, so, so someone might have... microscope. Oh, okay. So that's the only way to really know if somebody has Alzheimer's. So, uh, but the idea of dementia, it means that, it means that when your brain isn't functioning as well, we can start to do little tests, and we call that um, uh, there's a, the MOCA. It's a type of it's a type of test where we ask people certain questions. Right. But but back to me, uh, I'm particularly interested because in my family there was people with Alzheimer's in their 80s. Right now. And uh, right. Yeah, and yeah. my grandfather passed away from Alzheimer's, and he was in his mid 90s. So you know, still older older people, but they died they died from Alzheimer's. So I was right. I was curious, and as somebody who's just interested in brain health. I went ahead and did the genetic test. You know, you can even get this on 23andMe, a very simple yep. test. Yeah. And one of the tests is something called the APOE gene. Right. Um, and I remember when I first got that test, they had a little caveat said, uh, are you sure you want to look at this test? And you yeah. Said, you must sign it. You must click the box and say, I'm aware that if I look at this test, it's going to stress me out or make yeah, yeah, stress yeah, me yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I agreed to take on that. That, you know, the that stress, risk. Yeah, yeah, the risk. And I did. I clicked the risk, and I and I actually have um, one copy of the the risk allele, which is the e the e four, 
and I have one of the, the regular alleles, E3, so I'm a 3-4, uh, which puts me at about double the risk based on that gene alone. You know, but look, look at you, you off camera, I'm like, so a lot of people, if they hear, oh my gosh, you're the doctor saying you have risk of so-and-so or you might have it, some people will panic, they'll, you know, it'll actually possibly make it worse, like, you know, because stress already has its own uh, negative impacts, right? Sure. Um, and so for you, you're like, you know what, I'd rather know, be educated, face it, like deal with it and um you know in his process the hope here is that it will inspire other people to be more knowledgeable about their own situation and uh if i know him he's going to try a bunch of different things yeah, to, a, to, there is to, a lot of hope yeah this, this is okay. this, uh, this series is really about hope and and uh, documenting how uh, all the efforts that are being made not just by myself but so many other scientists and researchers and doctors to to basically solve this problem because it's going to affect a lot of people. Yeah. There's a lot of suffering. So. <laughs> I, it, it, and, and, you know, when I release this, when we talk about it, I haven't decided where yet, but I just think that this is such a important discussion. I have a, hey, I'm going to shout you out. I have a girlfriend, Karen, who wrote a book about Alzheimer's, who cared for her mother. Her mother passed. It was not, from my understanding, it was really difficult, long, painful journey for her. And, had maybe if something like this was available, there might have been things that could have um, make that process easier or or help her mom deal with her condition. Um, last question before we wrap up, and then we're gonna just come back and talk about this, and maybe we'll be in different situations, and Sanjeev's gonna eat different things or try different things and test his brain. Um, sh when should someone uh, really think about uh, Alzheimer's? Like you took that test because you wanted to know if you might have that gene, you discovered it. But like, for example, when I was 40, I had to have a mammogram, right? Like, yeah. is there a time that I you think, would think uh, someone should be really curious about it? Well, see, things like Alzheimer's don't just begin like, you know, one day you have, one day you're totally fine and one day you have Alzheimer's. So, right. you know, these things take decades to develop. And so, um, you know, I, I think everyone should probably have a, have a look at what their genetic risk for it is because right. nowadays we have treatments and we have mm -hmm. an understanding what can make your risk lower of getting right. the disease. So I think I I'm think all as about, soon as possible, right? Yeah, like I'm all about year? living with eyes wide open. You know, right. I think you, you know my children. We've tested them, so I, I think it's it's really important so you can understand. You know, if you're somebody who's at risk for Alzheimer's, maybe you shouldn't be playing like uh, sports that can cause head injuries. <laughs> yeah, for example, right? So you know what? You're, of, you're the type of questions. I'm not taking that test, so I'm gonna be the first one to say, "Let's take that test." This is about. Him, but knowing that, I just, I think it's it's making me curious. So anyway, stay tuned. We'll be back. We're hoping to do this uh, daily and give you guys some um, new information and also follow Sanjeev's journey um, of helping to educate and inspire those who are dealing with Alzheimer's and dementia. Perfect. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Yeah.